This is the building committee at uh, 724. Call into order, review, discuss of RFP-0618 GCP general construction and painting. This item we, not, we went out for, paint, uh, for an RFP for general construction and painting. We have previously discussed is that we wanted to get some local vendors that could help or, uh, supplement our, our in-house uh, construction and painting crews just in a time of uh, need such as the one that we're, present right, we're presently facing right now where it's short time multiple projects with a short time span. So we went out for bids. Uh, we did uh, solicit bids. We have two individuals that were interested and they, they, uh, Christy, they uh, did submit uh, for consideration and we're ranking them as uh, one and two. So Christy has some more information and any questions. Thank you. Board members, and good evening. Um, yes, we did go over um, proposals for our general construction and painting. We did open those bids today at three o'clock, so we got all the information ready for tonight's board meeting. Um, we did contact several vendors and only two did submit today. And we went ahead because of the need, as Mr. Ndon stated, we are gonna award both at a ranking of one and two. So if the first one can't do what Mr. Garcia needs, then we'll go with the second one. Are there any questions? And is this just similar to the architectural firms? They're just kind of on standby until is it as is needed? As needed, okay. yes, sir. Well, we're going with number one. He has to call number one first because that's the order where we rank them in. But if they're always available and they can provide so it's the service. possible for you to support them? At the same time as well, oh, okay. yes. Thank you. Agenda. Yes. Thank you. Number three, review and discuss of RFP-0618 RP is uh, resurfacing of the parking lot streets. We also went, oh. oh, I'm just gonna give you a little background. We went also for resurfacing some of the parking lots. We had some local vendors that wanted to, they were asking why we hadn't go on, gone out for, for uh, for resurfacing of the parking lots or items like that. We haven't had uh, large um, items that have gone over the 50,000, so it hasn't had been a need for us to go. Um, as we discussed in the, in the uh, workshop, there could be a possibility going forward of doing some of the larger parking lots, and we've done very small projects. So we went ahead and, and uh, put out for our local vendors to see what was out there. We did have, and, and Ms. Ms. Gonzalez can provide, I think there was five, six. Six. six different individuals that are interested, and the same format was taken by uh, ranking them one through six. We did receive those bids today at three o'clock. Some vendors did come in to um, hear the other vendors that did participate. So we went ahead and ranked them based on several criteria, price, quality of service, their locations, um, relationship with, past relationship with the district, several other um, factors, and we did rank them one through six. So again, we'll go with the first one, and then go, if they can provide the service at the time, we go with number two, and so forth. Are there any questions? Who did the evaluation? It was myself, Mr. Garcia, um, my purchasing clerk, Ms. Janie Barbosa, and Ms. Vicky Perez. And, and the questions uh, asked, uh, do you have a list of the questions? Yes. Okay. Thank the you. The criteria is on there. Okay, yes. thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <coughs> Agenda item? Okay. <coughs> Review and discuss the renovate uh, assembly to high school for the uh, to 2018 and 2019 year. Yes, Mr. Joseph, on this item, we're bringing back, um, previously we have, uh, the board has awarded to do some, uh, award a bid uh, to Noble Construction for the San Miguel High School. And uh, we're bringing it back to, for an addition. 
We had done two separate vendors. One was for Noble Construction and one was for Arispe Flooring. Uh, Arispe Flooring will be subcontracted by Noble, so this requires us to bring it back to the board to add the addition. So we will not be issuing a purchase order for Arispe. Same price, but it will be added into uh, a consult. It will be an addendum to uh, Noble Construction. Who would like to consideration? So it's just going to be Noble Construction. Noble Construction will take uh, care and subcontract at East Bay. Uh, so it'll be one one construction company instead of two. Agenda two purchase nine. orders. Agenda number five, uh, review and dis discussion membership of Goodbye uh, Purchase Scene uh, Cooperative. This item is just uh, as to review and discuss to join the membership of the Goodbye Purchasing Co-op. It is a free co-op. It just gives us additional uh, vendors that we could purchase by without having to go out and put an RFP uh, through our uh, ourselves. So it just gives us greater purchasing uh, purchasing uh, power without having to go out for an RFP, and it's free of charge. It's an interlocal agreement. Agenda. Uh, okay. Number six. This Discussion of a memorandum of understanding between San Benito CISD and Southwest Key Program. Yes, sir, Mr. Vargas. Um, Thank you. Rosas, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Rosas. I don't remember. Uh, this is an addendum. We had some changes. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. Uh, they had asked since last week. We are a month ago. We met with Southwest Keys in order to uh, that MOU that we have with them. They've asked if we would be able to furnish them with some portable buildings to to uh, take on some more uh, kids. Some, some more kids that they have over there. So. Uh, we went back and just made this addendum that talks about our special ed department and our uh, our portable buildings that will uh, allow them to to use. It's going to be at no cost to. They're going to pay for all the all the costs for the upkeep for the moving of the buildings. Okay. Mr. Mother, how many how many? Uh for the audience here, how many kids are we actually looking at, or how many students are we actually looking at in addition to what we already have? <coughs> On top of what we It's approximately 120 more. And what's the, what do we have right now? Uh, 360. So it'll be close to 500. All right. Thank you, sir. I did that. Okay. Number seven, update of on a uh, person's roof. Sir, on this one, uh, Dr. Carmen just wanted to come back to the board. This is just an update. Uh, as you know, we have previously um, awarded to, to, and they're in the in the construction, or we'll get an update of where Parsons Roof on some of those items that were approved. Mr. Garcia will give us an update on that, um, so you can see what uh, what the timeline is. There was a little holdup, and it was because of testing. We didn't want to disrupt those campuses that were in the testing phase, but he ha he'll give us an update of where we are with the roofs. Good afternoon. Uh, Parson Roofing is really doing a great job for us. They've been working at night. They started here at Landrum. Uh, they're working at night having their, their light plant in, in between the, the wings, not to make it destroy the neighborhood. Um, <clears throat> as you can see in the little map, I, I think it's tremendous. Uh, everything in red has been completed, and hopefully, there uh, the sub there is telling me the contractor sub is telling me that by the end of this week they will have completed all of Land Elementary, all of those. There. So they're really doing a great job for us. Anybody have questions on Parson Roof? Thank you. I'll stay here. Number eight, update on the canopies. 
canopies. We have a small glitch with G&G contractors out of Edinburgh. Okay. It seems that their contractor that does their concrete work had a family crisis and uh, <clears throat> has uh, not met you know the deadline that they need to do, but they have promised us by June 15th all the footings and all four campuses will be poured. After the footings are poured, then after that it's just a matter of putting all their all their beams, of course, and going up with the construction. They promised us that by, by I think it's July 27th, everything should be completed. So we're good. And that's a difference of how many days or weeks? Well, no, that, that, that they had a, a, a timeline, and they're, they're meeting the timeline. Oh, so they're meeting it. Okay. Yes. Do we have a backup plan, Mr. Sure, if that doesn't work out? A backup plan? <laughs> okay. I think that really contracts that we do ourselves. Any other questions? Uh, thank you. On that particular one, we do have a performance contract on them and a payment contract bond on them to produce. For that, committee concerns? I <coughs> Go ahead. Uh, actually, uh, going back to the uh, high school renovation, uh, and I think this question would be to you, Mr. Don. Uh, could you go back and uh, Reiterate what wings at the high school will be uh, revamped. Wings A and B are in the uh, main office. And, oh, in the the main principal's office. office. Um, and, okay, go ahead. And the renovations uh, include the uh, the flooring, uh, the walls, the painting, uh, and the ceiling tiles, and the refurbishing of um, sanding down and. Refer, uh, reconditioning the doors, uh, as well as the hallways, and in the in the office space, the same thing: the painting, the sanding down of the doors, flooring, and the painting. Does this does this item include the uh, counselor's office and the peens office? Not the council. We didn't go into the counselor's office, and, and no, sir. Would it be too much trouble to uh, just? inquire to see what the cost would be. Uh, and the reason that I ask is that uh, last Friday, during our, uh, con uh, the, uh, the end of the school celebration, we, we went out there. And what, uh, I think there was a couple of items at, in the PIMS office that really needed to be addressed. Um, and if you don't mind to bring back to the committee to see how much that would cost. And additionally to the counselor's <coughs> office, I believe that, they, uh, that the counselor's office also needs to be reevaluated and repurposed, if you will. Right now, I know that everybody's going in into one hallway, and uh, and it seems to have been uh, the, the, an issue in the past regarding the uh, congestion there. So uh, my understanding is that sometimes that when it gets too full, students are still uh, turning away. So let's rethink that and, and bring it back to the committee for discussion, and maybe we can do something about it for before the next school year, and uh, really have. Uh, a more welcoming environment in that area uh, for, for our kids. I'll, I'll look at it. Uh, I think one of the things that, that might just be is the, the timing to get all that done in 42 days. Yeah, I think uh, but, when we talked about it last time, we decided that we we're going to do it in phases. So like we're, we're doing the front of the high school with those wings and then we're doing part of the office and then, that, and then the next will be phase two. And like yeah. we said, we can only do so much time within June and July without disrupting instruction. So I think phase two, and I think that's part of the bond conversation, that's part of what we're gonna use out of the fund balance to complete the whole high school. So the other think, item uh, that we need uh, to consider. What uh, Mr. Mendes is referring to is they had an over uh, flow of water into one of the uh, rooms. And I believe Mr. Garcia's addressing it also. Okay. But it, 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 it did smell and the carpet got all wet, so. We'll look into it. Uh, the other also that we need to consider is and I didn't have this as an update, is the switch gear that will be uh, also installed. That was another thing that we had to do in timing because they're gonna turn off the, air, the electricity in that area while they're doing the switch gear. That is also scheduled, uh, just to give you a little update on it. It has arrived, so they're in the process of checking the condenser, the, what was it, something electrical, to make sure that it wasn't, uh, that it's gonna fit properly. So that also, it's really this summer is very time, it's, it's all about the timing, but we will look at it. I think we had already had that conversation, Mr. Garcia and I, in, in regards to starting to get some proposals. Uh, 
uh, what that looked like, but I will look into it. Maybe it needs to be, uh, you know, it's grow I think it's the same size of when I was in high school. Yeah, well, so and, that, and that's a section. Maybe just a reevaluation or reassignment of the counselors in a different location that might help, yeah. and even the PEAMS uh, uh, personnel. And, and the reason that I say that is because it, 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 it's in bad shape. The yes, congestion sir. is pretty bad, and, and going through it another year is, is really, it's, it's uncalled for, and I think that we need to really we'll address visit. it. If, if not the, the facilities, at least the re, uh, reorganization or repurposing of, of, of it. Well, we'll visit. If you don't mind. Yes, sir. Listen, just so we can all be on the same page as far as all this construction going on right now, can you please take a step by step of how all this was prioritized and how we came up to this decision? Because it seems to like it seems to like we're going to start the construction all of a sudden. Now there's all these questions and all these concerns as far as congestion and so on and so forth. So I know we've had this dialogue over and over again. At I know the high, that school? high school is old. I understand that. We all know that. We all know that it's congested, so to speak. Everybody has different opinions about that. But can you please prioritize it so we can just itemize these items? In a, in a manner to where we don't bring them up every every meeting and and uh, take I'll try back to, okay next. well on the at the high school level uh, uh, one of the things is yeah, I told it's been one of the one of the one of the campuses that have we haven't really done a lot of facelift or a lot of we've kind of done the bare minimum one of the things is because summer school is always is held there and it gives them summer school doesn't go it doesn't end till mid July so it gives uh, it's it's always in the in the uh, always running. We do the bare minimum, the just the hallway because there's there's traffic. We've never we don't have the ability to just have it open, or maintenance doesn't have the ability to have it open at the disposal the whole summer long. That's one of them. But Dr. Carmen started looking at his uh, yeah. Ideally, we would like to to bring in modern. And I saw these beautiful uh, architectural state of the art. Uh, uh, presentations from the architecture state art and wow right and then we see ours and I said it, it, it was good in 19 in the 1970s when when we opened it and uh, but it's gotten it's it, it looks dated so we wanted to give it a little bit of fresh look to come up there is a lot of needs uh, one of the things that we looked as we are uh, moving some students with the college uh, with the college academy that should be uh, relocating some students to alleviate a little bit of the uh, congestion or move some students out so it, it you know, I think a little over 100 students will move a little bit uh, easier that way. But we needed to have, there's been additions, so there's some newer parts to the high school, but A and B, is, it's, it's one of the oldest ones, the, the old structure, and we needed to start at, at a starting point. We want to provide to the kids at least something that we are addressing so that they can come back. We're putting these these whiteboards and these uh, uh, projectors in there, but you know, then that looks new, but the rest of the items look dated. So uh, starting off, we wanted to address a little bit of, of the campuses. We haven't given a little love to that, to, to the high school. Uh, starting phase, let's do A and B and start a working backwards. Uh, um, because then it's going to look like A's done and C's done. It, it kind of packed. So at least people, or the community and the students know that we're we're doing something. We're coming forward. Uh, last year we did do the library new flooring. We picked up the carpet and we updated that, and, and uh, uh, that looks nice. It, it gives a feel that we are addressing that. Uh, this I brought in these and Dr. Carmen also the uh, main office. That's a focal point coming in, that's your welcoming. We want to give them uh, to the public and to the students and, and to the administration that, you know, that, that it, there is something that, that we take, we take pride on how it looks. So that was another f that we threw in there and said, let's do those items and then possibly we go into the bond and we can do all of it. And that's going to be time. That's going to be a time issue because this item, uh, that's what we had to go out for in RFPI because we have 42 days. And when I'm saying 42 days, we're basically working Saturdays. If I'm not mistaken, they're working Saturdays and Sundays, weekends in order to get it done and, and, and give us also time to get back in there and make sure everything is worked. So um, without going out with a full-fledged project, that's how we attempted to start doing it in little, in little be bits and pieces. Okay, I thank you for the clarification. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, Miranda. And, and, uh, and just for clarification, regarding the uh, 
the uh, facilities and whatnot, it, it, yes, it is important to, to prioritize. My, my question, and just for clarification, is uh, identifying the appropriate room for counselors and teams. So that does not mean that I'm asking for a new refurbished uh, facility. What I'm asking for is an evaluation of the, uh, the area and identifying whether or not that's an appropriate or up-to-date uh, area to continue the, uh, the, the activity that we're doing. For example, we have, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six counselors in that particular area. One, uh, one I, I believe it was one secretary and then one assistant. So for the number of students, which is about 2,000, 2,000 or 2,011, the, amount, the, the number of students that go into that particular office, uh, it, it's sometimes overwhelming. The conditions, the work conditions, are sometimes overwhelming. So when you have professionals crumped up into that location, I think it's important that it's, uh, it's important for us to realize that we have a problem. Uh, my understanding is that we have enough room in the, in the, in the, uh, in the uh, high school to, uh, to allocate for instruction, to allocate for office space, to allocate for things like that. So without spending a single penny or repurposing or refurbishing any facility or whatnot, my question is, could you reassess, reevaluate what other space is available to relocate or move <coughs> some of these counselors so they would alleviate some of that uh, overflow. Has that been an issue? Has it been brought up to, to them? We, it, it, how, how, how do you know that it is an it, issue? It is an issue and it has yeah. been brought up. Uh, yes. And, and, and uh, it's, it's been brought up in, for the past four years. And, and the reason that we ask that is because we continue to receive calls from parents indicating that their child are not being addressed because they're turned away. So I think those are the things that we need to make sure that we're also taken into consideration as we move forward. Help me with uh, uh, Dr. Carmen. In essence, we did, I, I will, we did not go out there and, and, and look at changing wall, you know, it was just the basic, just kind of bring it up to date as far as painting and things. We did not assess the room as, uh, assignments or what it looks like, we did not do that. It was just the, the painting, the flooring, just not renovating it in, into, so we didn't go out there and, and change, you know, uh, look at a uh, office space. No, we did not do that. But I will, pat, I will meet with Dr. I Carmen. appreciate that. It's the functionality of yes, it. It's, it's an antiquated uh, building. Of course, we understand that. It's old. We need to fix it and whatnot, but that's not the question. The question is, let's look and see what, yes, where we could put people to better serve our kids. Yes, sir. Any other uh, committee concerns? If not, <laughs> it's adjourned at uh, 747.